The Ubuntu Touch developer preview was released to the public yesterday. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is Ubuntu Touch on the Nexus 10. The first time your Nexus 7 or Nexus 10 boots with Ubuntu on it, it'll be very warm and fuzzy inside. Not only because you're looking forward to using it for the first time, but because the welcome screen. This is not a lock screen, make no mistake, it is a welcome screen. And it relays that feeling perfectly. There are a lot of warm red and purple tones that make you feel very at ease. And once you get past the welcome screen, once you get into the operating system, you should feel right at home, especially if you've used Ubuntu before. You will notice that this is designed with unity in mind. The colors, the layout, and everything looks very similar to how the desktop version of Ubuntu looks. But even if you haven't used it before, even if you've only used Windows or OS X or even mobile operating systems, there are cues from each of them that really make this familiar to just about anyone. It uses a very similar interface to the Kindle Fire. The notification shade is similar to Notification Center in iOS or the notification shade in Android. And the way that phone and tablet applications work beside one another, it's very similar to how Windows 8 handles applications. Keep in mind that this is a developer preview and not everything works. Several of the applications that come pre-installed on this are actually just screenshots. You tap the icon and it opens just a screenshot of what the application would be. Not everything works. The rear camera on the Nexus 10 did not work and the front camera on the Nexus 7 didn't work either. And there are other features such as options and settings that just simply don't exist yet. And it's very apparent after just a few minutes with the operating system that not everything is gonna work right off the bat. Like the name suggests, it's only a preview and it's meant to show developers and the like how the operating system will work in the future. A sneak peek, if you will. As I explained in the video yesterday with the Ubuntu hands-on with the Nexus 4, the question many are asking is why should I care about Ubuntu? Why would I want it on my phone? What is the benefit of it all? The main difference that Canonical is driving home is convergence. The fact that you could carry a single device to do everything. The version of Ubuntu you have on your phone or tablet is a full-fledged version. That means you can plug up peripherals and you can have a full-fledged desktop version wherever you are. Monitor, keyboard, and mouse, that's all it takes and it will revert to the desktop version version. So what is the difference between Ubuntu for tablets and Ubuntu for phones? Honestly, not a lot, but they're big features that really optimize the larger screen. One, you have a horizontal layout on the tablet version and a vertical layout on the phone version, and smaller tablets also have a vertical layout. The other big difference is guest mode or multiple user support. You can have multiple users, three, four, five people use a single tablet without having to share the same data. You also have what is called side stages, and those are the multiple views. You have a phone app and a tablet app that can be run side by side. You can't do two tablet applications side by side, but you can have phone applications such as the dialer, notes, Twitter, Facebook, or contacts side by side with the browser, music player, or any other larger applications. Keeping in mind that this is just a developer preview, that it's not ready for prime time and it's just a sneak peek at what we'll see next year, I could really see why I would want this on a tablet. I would also want it on a phone if it were more refined and had the application support I need. A tablet is a little bit of a different beast. I don't need necessarily all the same applications I need on my phone, but I would need it to do more laborious tasks and having a keyboard, mouse, and monitor revert this to a full-fledged version of Ubuntu, I can definitely see why I would want it on a tablet. However, However, in its current state, it's very primitive and there are a lot of things missing and it's not ready to be a daily driver for anyone. Using this, I've had issues with bugs where applications won't load, I get kicked back to the lock screen and all sorts of other little quirky things where the operating system will just spaz out for a minute and not take any touch input and then jump through 15 screens. It's fun and cool to play around with for a little while, but at the end of the day, I will flash back to Android and enjoy applications and other things for the time being. So this has been a look at Ubuntu Touch on the Nexus 10. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to give us a follow on Twitter, Google Plus, and Facebook. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time. <laughs>